I, like many human beings, love to laugh out loud. That laugh may be a result of me watching a comedy film or TV show or maybe a comic stand-up or sketch. Regardless, me laughing out loud by watching something comedic is a rare sight to see. Well, I'm not exactly aware of the reason which makes me laugh out loud rarely, but one thing that I am aware of is that making me cry is a hell of an easy job. There are countless films, TV serials that I watched in my childhood and a lot more media that has made me cry. And to be honest, those occasional crying sessions enforced out of me by all that media is something that I really appreciate and strangely enjoy. And today I brought you this list of films that according to me are very emotional. Some of these movies almost made me cry and some of them made me really cry out loud. And most importantly, all of these made me fall in love with them. As I mentioned, there is a long list of media that made me emotional and even made me cry. But there are a very few of them which held up and stood the test of time. So hence, this list contains movies that not only made me cry or emotional but are also very good and well-made films. I will recommend you to watch all of these movies yourselves to experience that heightened state of emotions that I experienced and loved. And let me remind you that this list contains movies from romantic, drama and tragedy genres from different languages and countries. These films according to me are magical and hence must be experienced by everyone who barely even likes films. That is why I will not be talking in depth about these films. I'll mention the aspects that made me love these films and will tell the things that these films has to offer so that you can decide and make a conscious and informed choice about which films to watch yourselves. Your Name This Japanese animated film released in 2016 is a masterpiece. Your Name is a romantic film which does not follow the disgusting story structure of a stereotypical Bollywood romantic film. The movie is about two people, a boy and a girl, both living very different lives in Japan. The movie follows a rather unique plot that leads to a beautiful romantic story which is told by writer-director Makoto Shinkai masterfully. Well, I'm sure Makoto Shinkai himself might not agree with me on that, but Your Name is truly an emotional film. The music is true beauty that not only makes the audience members fall in love with it despite all the songs being in Japanese, but also enhances the already hyper-beautiful visuals. Most romantic movies in terms of what doesn't have much and it is in the terms of how that these movies with repetitive plots play. But your name excels in showing both the what and the how. I will recommend you not to research about your name and watch it regardless of any doubts you have about it. Jaktin. Jaktin or Da Hunt is a Danish drama released in 2012. The movie tells the story of a wrongly accused child molester. The plot follows the accused and shows us the reaction of people around him. The movie is not a crime drama or a thriller. From the start, we are aware that the main lead is wrongly accused of the crime that he did not commit. The movie takes different turns and highlights the experiences of our main lead wonderfully played by Mads Mikkelsen, who is a well-known actor for all the right reasons. The movie highlights the other side of real-life situations like these and shows and makes us feel all those moments. The movie is filled with excellent acting and well-crafted moments which might make you cry a bit. I will recommend you to watch this film in its original language that is Danish and experience every word that comes out of Mads Mikkelsen's mouth into the forest of Firefly Lights. Firefly Lights is a 44 minute long Japanese animated short film released in 2012. Technically it is not a short film but technically it is not a feature film either. But technically whatever it may be, it is a beautifully made film for sure. Firefly Lights is also a romantic film and tells us the tale of a girl and a ghost. The film shows us a story of love. I will highly recommend you to watch this film because it is a beautiful story and is a short watch. The Man Who Laughs. You might have not expected to see a silent film on my list of my favorite emotional movies, but here we are. The Man Who Laughs as a movie has many layers. First of all, it is a tinted silent film which might be a deal breaker for a lot of people. Second of all, watching this movie and the understanding where I'm coming from in terms of calling this movie emotional is a whole different thing altogether. So let me keep the silent movie part aside and leave it for you to decide and talk only about its offerings. The Man Who Laughs is a movie that tells the story of Gwyn plane who has a permanent smile on his face. This permanent smile causes him a lot of troubles, which reflects even in the real world. 
If we see The Man Who Laughs as a story, it has the factors to be called a romantic tragedy drama. But that smile not only causes trouble to Gwynplaine in the movie, that is our main character, but also results in the film being regarded as a horror movie. To be honest, a small description of this film would be an insult to it. So I would request you to consider watching this beautiful film and deciding your feelings about it yourselves. I am definitely going to make a dedicated video on this film very soon. But until then, consider watching it. Stand By Me Doraemon Stand By Me Doraemon is a Japanese animated film released in 2014. Now this movie is very special for me and is very dear to my heart for many reasons. The obvious one is that this movie is based on the characters of Nobita and Doraemon, two anime characters that I watched all my childhood. Doraemon and Nobita not only has a nostalgic value for me, but also the story of Nobita and Doraemon is something that I've given way more time of my life and way more thought to than anybody should. If you are not aware, then let me tell you that Nobita is a lazy boy who is terrible at everything. He is bad at studies, sports and everything in his life. And Doraemon is a robot cat who has come from the future to help Nobita in his daily life using his highly technologically advanced gadgets. Stand By Me Doraemon is a 3D animated film and let me mention that I am not at all a fan of any kind of animation other than 2D. But Stand By Me is so good that I don't even care what kind of animation it has. Stand By Me Doraemon tells the story of Nobita and Doraemon from the start for a new generation. You don't need to know anything about anything regarding these characters or their story. The film fills you in on everything. Stand By Me not only introduce you to these characters but make you love them too. And to be completely honest, regardless of the good quality of the film and the beautiful music this film might not make you feel the same emotions as me because I, like hundreds of thousands of kids who grew up watching these characters, loves these characters and their story. But I will still recommend you to watch this film yourself, regardless of you watching or not watching these characters in your childhood. Also, the Hindi dubbed version is available on YouTube for you to watch. I watched that one because those voices are part of my nostalgia. And one last quick tip for you if you watch is the Hindi dub. Almost everywhere in the film, wherever the word dosti is used, there is a chance that the characters are actually talking about Shadi. And if you are confused by this last mention, then you are in for a ride. Sanam Teri Kasam Sanam Teri Kasam is a 2016 romantic drama film. This movie follows the character of a societally unconventional and unacceptable outlaw of a man and the embodiment of the societal norms of a woman. This movie is a romantic drama, which is well written and despite having a simple narrative, it really excels at the how of the film, which is made more impactful by amazing acting from all the cast members. This film never made me cry, but the extremely passionate soundtrack gives me chills every time I watch this film. I will definitely recommend you to watch this beautiful romantic movie. And I have to mention something before leaving this movie. Sanam Teri Kasam is a Bollywood film with musical segments and scenes blasted with songs and it has many unrealistic dialogues. But the thing that Sanam Teri Kasam does right is that it doesn't cross that line between cinematic dialogues and cheesy lame dialogues. Unlike one film which was going to be on this list, but when I rewatched it for the video, I realized that it didn't aged well for me. And that film is Hamari Adhuri Kahani. Hamari Adhuri Kahani has a very nice story and characters portrayed by skilled actors. It also has beautiful scenes blasted with beautiful songs. But the thing which it didn't do right is that it crossed that line I mentioned earlier. All its dialogues are so unnecessarily philosophical, lame and unrealistic that those beautiful scenes can't even compensate for it. Do you will obviously not recommend you Hamari Aduri Kahani for your own mental well-being. Grave of the Fireflies Grave of the Fireflies is a Japanese animated 1988 war tragedy film. Grave of the Fireflies follows the story of two siblings in a world war setting. Grave of the Fireflies is a really emotional film. It will show you a glimpse of horrors of war and that too so effectively that I have never seen in any film ever. This film is a tragedy and its critical acclamation and all its rating really conveys that how effective this film is. I will recommend you to watch this film for yourself from all my heart.